Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Is today vlog day? It's today vlog day. It seems like it's gonna be because I brought out the GoPro. What do you think, huh? <gasps> okay. My children don't actually speak. They just growl. They're so wild now. They've become feral animals. Yeah. Okay. In the wild. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so this lovely little antique thing that's never ever worked properly, we're giving it another go. Managed to break the lid off. There was a cool little glass lid that was on it. Um, and we gave it full hope. Wanted to throw it away. But then we have this little glass thingy jar that fits perfectly in there. So we're going to give it another go, hoping it works because. Is this guy is a bit too small and don't really feel like making two cups of coffee every morning. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. drink coffee. I don't want to drink the coffee. What do you like to drink? Cool. Roy Boss tea. Roy Boss tea. Mm -hmm. I like to drink the What's that? Little coffee maker. Um, so today we are. Maybe gonna go for a hike. No. We are to the hole in the wall. It's one of the Which cool is really, things really cool. That's why we're here. Kali, you have it in your app, don't you? I don't either. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. So there it is in Kyla's atlas. Hole in the wall. I don't have coffee bear in mine. The wild coast. Kill the flame. Says it killed the flame. There's oh. no flame. There's no flame. Just go. How did you? No, it's still not lit. Okay, so can I throw it away? <laughs> yeah. What is yeah, it doesn't work. At all. What is that party time Okay, giving it one last go because there's a lot of coffee in there and we're quite short on coffee so we don't want to waste it. This is a sacred ingredient. It is. We cannot waste it. So I figure the other lid was on really loosely. So I've moved it so that it's looser. All the English happening here. Then anyway, it's not boiling over anymore. We also took some water out. Took That's a little good. bit of water out, yeah. But now it's not bubbling up at the top at all, really. This is either going to be the strongest and best cup of coffee we've ever had, or like... Or the worst. <laughs> or the worst. Although we've had worse out of this thing, I'm sure. We've had really bad cups of coffee out of it. Uh, consistently. Yeah. Every time. Why don't you do that? Mm-hmm. Nothing like a light brown cup of coffee. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. I've gone for longer than you. It doesn't work here. Mom. That's just two water. Mom, she was around. No, okay. So, useless. Okay, so we're not going to the hole in the wall today. The weather's a bit mis miserable. So we're just going to try the shops again. The power hasn't seemed to go on off, so they'll probably be able to give us some cash. Um, yeah, and then it's games and, and fun, family fun. Um, also did a bit of work, managed to finish that off. So I'm done for the day. Woohoo! Yeah. Yes. All right, bless you. And we've got to sort those dogs up. Also, just reconnected all our water and emptied out the tanks. That's always a bit of a mission. So we've got running water. Trying not to use too much to show you. There you go. The people um clean out the fish tank. And mm, I, saw. I, I know how it gets dirty because it's all the fish poop. Hmm, did you ask them? Yeah. Where's my other shoe? So, still haven't gone to the shops yet. 
Um, girls are busy. What are you busy doing? Need some for our shoes are giving her blisters. Um, yeah, weather is looking ominous. It was supposed to rain today and last night. I don't think it did. It's kind of hanging there. Um, yeah, anyway, waiting for the mechanic as well. Haven't heard from him. Um, sure, you'll be here. He's a Kif Oak. Um, yeah, yeah, pointless little interlude. Some cows grazing on my way to the shops. This is pretty normal, yeah. We've come to realize cows are cows are normal now. Cows are normal now. Windy today, everyone's a bit chilly and underdressed. Could have turned back, but it took so long to leave. We're just powering on. Yeah. This one's got turned down horns and a furry coat. Looks more like a ram. They're so bony, these cows. At a little coffee shop. Cheers. So this is a hand ground. Fresh coffee. So there's nothing for the kids, so they're just gonna have to look adorable and happy. Okay, enough of that, Max. People are gonna think you're a wild person every time you do that on the camera. All right. So the coffee is homegrown as well. Homegrown and stone ground. Stone ground. Gonna, gonna give it a try. Yeah. We had another little cafe, just trying them all out today. And there's a snake. And there's a snake. This one's called Friends. And they. It's a backpackers. It's a bed and breakfast. Oh, Yeah. And we have in the last grapes of ice cream out the tub. And they don't have milkshakes, they said they on the sign outside there says shakes. But I think that's when they have stock. And this is the little garden area. Everything's really rustic here, but I love it. Love that nothing's perfect. And um, I've got kitted out with beads. Coffee beads, which I thought was appropriate. Um, yeah. So yeah, a nice little day around town. Um, after this, we're waiting for another shop to open. Oh, and in this one, ATM. Who knew? An ATM. After all of that effort, could have just have come here. Mm -mm. And yeah. we got him. Got myself some biscuits here. Oh, mm -hmm. Got some, some brownies. Yo, this looks like good. Mm. Yo, this is a brownie. Open is just brownies. <laughs> and there's surprises. Thank <laughs> you. Very cool table. Has all the flags. The different areas. Awesome. We stopped at the red blanket root shop. The kids got more glasses. And in Yankana. Since I already had black ones. Yeah. Which got broken. Tyler's wanted of glasses. Who He's got them now. Who knows? Huh? And yeah. look at my long hair. And Knox I got a fishing net. And anyway, it's long hair actually. And long hair. <laughs> so I think we're done. Spending all the money in Coffee Bay, Trap supporting you. locals. We may come around tonight to watch the drums at 8 o'clock. Um, the espresso bar that we went to, they're going to have a drumming session. 
They do it at eight every night, I think. Yeah. So. But just, just take a, like a view of what this actually like. This is what Coffee Bay is like. This is it, yeah. This is it. This is the road. Like when you cross the river to get to the other side. There's nothing further up, eh? No, I don't think so. Just goats and fields and homes. I think. Yeah, because we went up there. Up yeah, that way, but, but I think that's the only thing. That's we went at night. There might be more. Might be. We've been at Coffee Bay for three days and we haven't come to the beach. The weather's been so horrible. Sacrilege! But we um, decided just to take a long stroll and check it out. The waves are a bit crazy. Not in the Trans Sky unless you've seen a cow on the beach. Yes, saw one yesterday. Saw one from a distance yesterday. Oh uh, yeah. Not the same as seeing one up close. Yeah. So is this the bay? This is not the bay. It's, it's like coffee nook. Well there's one here and then there's one on that side, isn't there? Yeah. We saw from coffee, coffee corner. It's like double mouth. Coffee oh. indent. Like can you call it a bay? It's a bay. It's so small. You know I'm used to big city bays. City life bays. Pulse Bay. Muscle Bay. Gordon's Bay. Gordon's Bay. It's lovely though. It's so empty. I can't believe it. We see too rough for the surfers. But this wasn't the lagoon that we saw yesterday, so... So we decided just to take the path. We chatted to one guy back there, he said we can walk this way to get to the other beach. So we're gonna do it. Kyla and... I mean Raya and Knox know that one there. Not too keen. I'm carrying all the groceries. If the opportunity is there, you've got to take it. A little bit of adventure. Kyle is leading the way. She's the family mountain goat. Spotted another of these locust things. Massive. Massive. Wow! So this is Coffee Bay. This is Coffee Bay Beach. Okay, we made it. We're in Coffee Bay. And that's a proper size bay. Yeah, we need to cross the lagoon. But I see there's another path down, so we could probably take that. So that's cool. So hopefully it'll be warmer tomorrow after the hike and then we can come here. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Okay, so there's no way unless going through the lagoon to that little gate there. And I think it's shallow enough if we take our shoes off. Yeah. You're gonna have to roll your jeans up all the way. Can they just roll up? As Cindy has declined the challenge, I'm gonna just see how deep it is. Alrighty, it's a bit too deep for the kids. Not really. It's only like knee deep. But um don't want them going off by themselves. So I'm gonna go there. Go four by four on the beach. Collecting some sand. As one does. And I'm still carrying all the groceries. Just casual path up this year hill. Okay, this five litre bottle of water is getting quite heavy. So we're gonna have to go back all the way.
beautiful day. And we're back. You know, some adventures lead you some places, but no adventure leads you to no places. Because nowhere is always somewhere and has something special about it. That's a quote quoted by myself. Um, you can use that if you want. Write it down. Put it up in a backpacker's dining room. So we bought a pack of the coffee that we had that is grown here. It's stone ground. 50 rand for a little bit. But I figure it's worth it supporting the locals. Um, and then we got another pack which supports the rhinos all about supporting others and then we got our basics some bread because there's no chance of finding rice cakes here long life milk because there's no chance of finding almond milk and eggs <sighs> eggs and yeah, got to clean up now. Van is a bit of a mess. Watched a video last night on van life and the real, real van life because it's all um, glamorized, glamorized right word, um, glorification, whatever it is, um, which people think it is all the time and they want a perfect van. It's always neat and tidy and everything is in place. It is never neat and tidy, and it's a constant effort to keep it from becoming a pigsty. Just talking about how van life's always about those amazing pictures where everything's packed away and neat and tidy. Oh, that's not reality at all. No. Like, a, like it's all at all. Like that it's is the constant. fakest version of van life that there is, because it's just never like that, actually. Mm. I mean, I'll van is pretty good we as well it's constant effort yeah you yeah and it's constantly I mean, tidying up this is tidy the kids are constantly untidying it but it's it. still untidy yeah like. so this is actually looking good but we still need to tidy up so a few times a day it looks good and then it just gets completely trashed and yeah it's good for me because I've always wanted Mom. things to be in its place. So I've just learned to Mom. chill. Have you? Just a little bit, yeah. No. Doesn't irritate me as much. Okay. Can't oh, find sorry. it. Um, but we're still finding places for things. Believe it or not. As we use it. The things we use more often we put out in the front. Not tucked away in a back cupboard somewhere. Mm. And we keep getting more and more stuff. So... Got to have room for this now. This one, it's little. And it smells like fish already. Um, <coughs> yeah, Carl is moaning up there. What's she moaning about? She's lost her precious hanky. The hanky. Well, it's not Why didn't you look one. after it, love? She had it in her jeans pocket and then it got washed. Oh dear. But my tissue was in there. Oh, uh, I don't I remember you, your hanky being there somewhere. It's probably in the van somewhere. It has to be. Um, can I talk to you about these things? The stickers! This is a big debate of the stickers. See? So we want to fit Never. as many as we can, right? So we don't yeah. want to space them too far apart. So that one's cool, but then this one has to go over here, I'd say. Can it go down here? Or should it go sideways? Or is that weird? They have something that has writing. And why not up here? Or up there. It's a big debate. I kind of just stick and regret it later. No, I don't yeah. like that. <laughs> I'm not about that. Wherever, no. man. I know, whatever, man. But like you also I said, wherever. Mm. So we decided and it went up there. And it went over there. Yeah. Got a nice little collection. 
Tango cab, Zotorn, Haddo, our Instax. We actually forgot to take a picture at the last place. Like silly numpties, the big pineapple, I love South Africa, Plit, Hogsback. Yeah. I haven't always found a sticker, so we don't have all the places. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll fill up quite quickly. Boiling in the kettle because I'm gonna wash up. You eat out every day. Very bad. Uh, don't film that. Anyway, I was about to uh, have a deep moment. Have some deep thoughts about yesterday, about uh, the low Epic point, low. the really low point yesterday about this. So this is all my idea. Um, so when things get rough, Cindy likes to throw that in my face. I um, do not. I just said you're not allowed to get low. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think it was just the whole bunch of stuff breaking down, um, which just slightly puts a crack in the trust I had driving the van because it's quite something pulling this thing along um, so now knowing that the wheel could fall off um, at the any wheel point didn't fall off. no it didn't but I mean it can just stop driving um, if that was up on a steel steep a steep steep hill that would be another story but trust in the Lord um, and then my neck really just yeah. bothers me because hmm becomes an angry robot it's just uh, it affects my whole being like i can't move my head properly and you need your head for a lot of things <laughs> um and what else was it oh, a lot of work all at once you worked the whole I day i worked an entire day and i couldn't spend time with the kids and the kids they need to homeschool and that's another thing that's a stress which i'm trying not to stress about the homeschooling Maybe just and yeah, and right. then I was just like, maybe we should go home. And then today it's totally over, and I'm like, yes, let's keep going. So it just let's, shows. So my view on this is that in any situation at home, you would have felt the same way mm. after a day like that, when your neck is junk and you just feel junk and everything's not going so well. You'll feel that at home. So like, mm. that's what I keep telling true, myself. True, true. You know, like I had low days at home all the time, mm. and I just have them in a smaller confined space. Yeah, it's like amplified now. Because mm. I wouldn't like really have like a, like a day when you just like... Like um, I think it would come out, but I wouldn't be like, oh, the day I had today, it's just made me... Um, like I think uh, you wouldn't have identified. But now I'm identified. That you had a day like that, you would have just had a junk day, and everyone else would have learned that you had a yeah, junk day. But there was just more going on, I think. And now mm. it's just us, and just this. Like so you face it, yeah. which I think is healthier actually than yeah. just ignoring it. Anyway, but it's good to know that it's just a day thing, and never just to like give up. Like, Giving up pass. has not ever crossed my mind, it which is pass. like not really. Mm. Like, I know that we can't go home. We actually don't have the option of going home. Yeah. So, that drives me more than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've got to make this work. Mm. We have to. We have no alternative. Unless we want to squat in someone's yard for the next 12, 10 months. Yeah. And I don't want to do that. And it's like, I mean, this seeing all these things that we would never have seen mm, it's an adventure it's just, a daily adventure like just today working. like walking through yes. the dunes it's in the amazing. forest not knowing where and you're then going ending up at the most beautiful beach i mm. think i've ever seen to me yeah. that's a bit so oh, it's uninterrupted yeah just this is magical actually lovely stuff anyway and that's it Deep thoughts for the day. You know what I love? Man who does the dishes. Yes. Playing a game of pool. I think the bloopers. Yeah, you've got a pool table at your work. I know, I never play. Thought, thought you'd be better. Jan and Grace play all the time. I just can't justify a thing in the work hours. I just can't. Okay. Oh, yeah.
Hey guys, this is how you slack line. Yeah, no, I think you, you can't do it in shoes. Good job. Big game of foosball happening here. Even if you have to practice. Slaughtered, Cindy. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna destroy him. Okay. If he keeps getting scores, you can just knock him in his. I'll kick him in his guts. Let's go. Oh. 